So you want to be able to do this. I'll show you. To fade in and fade out with the push of a button, you go to Edit, Key Commands, click on New Macro, double click to rename it. So I'll do Fade In Out for this one. Then click here to choose a key that's going to run the macro. I prefer using F, even though by default that was already assigned to something else. Next, go here and search for Increment. Click Increment Fade In Length. Make sure you have your new macro selected here and click Add Command. Do the same with Increment Fade Out Length. So now what our macro does is it creates a fade in and a fade out, but the fades are going to be huge because they're based on your grid, which is probably set to bars and beats. So we're going to add two new commands to the macro. Search for exchange, click exchange time formats, and add this command to the macro. Put it last, add the same command a second time. This should be the first command, so you can use the arrows to make them switch places. So now what's going to happen when I hit F is first it will switch time base from musical, so bars and beats, to linear, milliseconds. Then it will create a fade in, then a fade out. And at the end it will switch back to bars and beats, which is my primary time base. So the switch is actually this. If I go to my time displays and hold Alt and click, they switch. So that's going to happen automatically and so fast that you won't be able to see it. Now that I switched those and my primary time base is now linear, I'm going to do one last thing and set my grid type to 10 milliseconds, which will then be my increment for the fades. Okay, so I'll then click again to have bars and beats be the primary time base. And if I now hit my F key, which runs the new macro, it applies the small fades. And if I want them to be bigger, I keep hitting F. If they got too big, you can just undo Command or Control Z, or you can create a new macro to decrement fade lengths instead of increment. I'll quickly do that so you can follow along. So key commands, new macro, decrement, fade in, add, fade out, add, exchange, add this one twice. And my key command will be D. So I'm going to overwrite the existing one. And now I can control my fades with just two keys. So I hope that helped. If it did, please like the video and also subscribe and have fun making music.